What's up YouTube gods and goddesses out there? It's your boy Mike from Duck Walk Professional out here for another day in Brigantine. Gonna be laying some sod today. We got smoked out yesterday because of the rain. Too much rain, not enough work. So we gotta get out to do some work today and get some shit done for the boys. Check this out, we got too much sod. This is a heavy lifestyle choice right here, boys, to do sod after the rain. It's so heavy. You gotta do what you gotta do out here living the dream in Brigantine. Check out what that lady did. Use the old buckets. Make them planters. Living the dream. Alright guys, let me show you what's going on here. We got to do this sod for this gentleman here. Put this work in. We got these guys working over here. And uh, we're going to get it done for the boys. Start back in the corner and work our way up. Alright, this is what we got going on so far here. We got a couple of them laid. One of the important things is you want to do is you want to stagger them so that you don't have lines running everywhere make it look nice so just give yourself a little stagger and then just keep on working your way back living the dream out here boys keep on working laying that side it's almost lunchtime All right, guys, you can see what we got here finished up. Walk right over the mulch, right into the backyard, right from the beach. Got all the sod laid out. Just got to get some water hooked up so we can irrigate this so it doesn't die in a day. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the boys. Knocking it down. It's one o'clock. Can still get a couple more jobs done, but this is a good, good job to knock out get this done before the holiday for this gentleman he'll be uh, greatly happy and uh, for everybody else I'll see you out there in the lawns all right boys all right boys that's what we got left uh, of the two pallets and we also sold uh, five pieces to another contractor who's working over here doing the irrigation so it ended up working out for the boys had a little bit extra but you always want to order a little bit extra side because you got to cut pieces and uh, it's better to have too much than to run out and not have enough that would really suck we'd look like the local hacks instead of the duck walk professional all right boys see you at lunch all right boys i don't know how the audio is going to be because we got everybody and their mother out here working but um we're done the side for the day and it's about 2 o'clock, we're going to get some lawns cut before it gets dark because it's going to fucking rain this week, so we got to get the work done. It's Memorial Day weekend, can't have people come home to their house and not have their grass cut. Alright, so it's for the boys. This is what we got going on out here. That's like the boss lady checking everybody out and everything is chilling out there.
little sign over here. Enjoy life, boys. It's only, only got it for so long. When you cut lawns in Brigantine by the golf course, a lot of times you find a lot of golf balls, which I get happy. I like finding golf balls. It's better than cutting in some of them other properties where you find needles and shit like that. So not too many needles, more golf balls than anything. All right, for the boys. Tiggy! How's Tiggy boy? How's my boy? Huh? How's my Tiggy boy? Huh? He was good? He was good crazy boy? Huh? Yeah, he was a good crazy boy. Yeah? What do you gotta say? What do you say for yourself? Huh? Huh? Can I have a kiss? Good boy. That's my good Tiggy boy, huh? Yes, you're a good boy. Alright boys, back to work. I was just sitting here thinking about working today and thinking of how blessed and grateful I am to be out here living the dream. You know, getting jobs, making money, um, working for myself. Uh, there's a lot of good things to be said about that. Um, you got to look at the good things. Yeah, it was hard. It was wet. Uh, it's a heavy lifestyle choice. But in the end, um, I think the freedom outweighs uh, the heaviness of it. So I just... I enjoy being free, you know, so I can finish doing whatever I want. If I get a little bit tired, I don't have to keep on working. I can quit for the day. But it's all about, uh, you know, trying to make enough. But what's enough? And is it ever going to be enough? You know, and I don't think it ever will be. So you just got to take it like it is. All right, guys, pulling up to this next property here, about to cut. We got uh, three grouped together on this one stop here. And uh, my claim is I'm gonna plug my phone in and get some battery charged up. And uh, we'll see you later for the walk around for the boys. We got some fellow lawn dogs out there across the street cutting the property across the street from us. Shout out. To the fellow lawn dogs out there in the street working. One across the street claiming I'm going for this outlet right here. Free power for the boys. way need some we could use some power washing if any of the boys are out there need a job let me know you can come power wash this for me I got the power washer I'll set the guys up and I like coming through the rabbit hole here 
check this lawn out. Everything's looking good here. Everything's blown off. All right, for the boys, on to the next one. This is called a heavy lifestyle. When you've been cutting all day and your truck is just drip arted with grass. It's looking so sweet like that though. Couldn't you just see it in neon green paint all dripped? Oh, looking good for the boys now. What's up YouTube guys? It's getting a little chilly. We're about to go to the next lawn, so see what's going on here with this next couple of properties we got. It's 644. Usually takes me about an hour to knock them out, so I'm kind of pushing it, but it's for the boys. That one right there, that's at the dream property. Anybody, any customers who let you do whatever you, that needs to be done because they want the place to look good, they're the dream properties, and that's one of them. You can see the difference between the grass line right there, between the dream property the people who want everything done and it to look nice and the people who just want their grass cut every two weeks. Don't want anything extra besides me. What type of properties do you guys want to build your businesses from? You know, I'm thinking about just only dream property and forget the bi-weekly cuts. Let somebody else do them and let me take care of the dream property boys. crazy to have to move all this stuff out to get to the big mower but it is what it is part of living the dream well check out this pretty bitch right here Ford Futura bitch looks pretty feel like getting in trouble no Gotta go for the classic. Rolling home with the case of coldies. That's the American dream, boys. It's a tough day out there today. Sod life is definitely a heavy life. Um, especially after it rained and poured like it did yesterday. Sod was just a little heavy for the boys. But uh, same thing for the for the grass cut in life too. When it's wet like this, it just makes everything fucking sloppier and more of a bitch to deal with. Harder to blow off the grass clumps. But in the end, we still made out pretty good. Uh, it's just about eight o'clock, and we got pretty much almost the whole list done. It's going to be pouring this week, so you got to play it cautiously gotta get the lawns done Memorial Day weekend 2017 out in Brigantine so you got to make sure everybody's looking nice and crispy and fresh no complaints I don't want the phone ringing asking why this and why that this weekend so that's why you got to take care of the dream properties and everybody else they just get cut and they get what they get The best part about working hard and coming home for the end of the day is getting to see the fam, see the dogs, and see the zebra boy. Who's there? Who's there? Who's that? Zebra! How are you? Good? What's Nan's claim today? Nothing. Nothing? How's dinner? She needs help with her gardening. Yeah, so somebody needs to help her do it then. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
Need what? It's high and low. Low oh, and high. Jesus. You're never going to be happy, are you? Okay, you can't stop that, man. Well, how about it starts over there by the corner, though? All right, boys, it's nighttime now. Gonna have a couple more CLs for the boys and then call it a night and get started on it again tomorrow morning. All right, for the boys, see everybody on YouTube tomorrow. Ma Porter lifestyle, boys. Let's see, one. Oh, uh, let's make it three for the boys and call it a night. For the boys. Gotta hang my sign back up. It was inspired by the boy. If you haven't checked his channel out, check out the channel. Tucker Upper. Tucker Fucker Upper. Need to put out the painting to inspire the boys to live the dream.